hamsters <laughs> are small. <laughs> In comparison to things like us, which are larger than hamsters. Most people have never really sat down with their hamster and thought about how small it was, or compared its size to the size of other objects or animals. In fact, the average hamster is only six, six, I tell you, inches long or shorter than that. <laughs> Boulders, elephants, and prehistoric dinosaurs all dwarf the hamster of today. <laughs> However, it is possible that years ago, many years ago, hamsters were very large and entirely carnivorous. <laughs> Now is when I'm supposed to pause to allow time for the class to reflect upon my state. prior statement. Yes, so hamsters, like this hamster, which by the way is larger than a regular hamster, are creepy. I can imagine hamsters creeping around on the ground all around me, and I would not know where they were. They could easily slip in between your legs and get behind you. And you would not know. You would be oblivious to this hamster's intentions, Mr. McCarty. <laughs> What if, hypothetically, a hamster in your house, any one of your houses, escaped for hours at a time? This hamster could be doing anything. It could be doing anything at all. In fact, it could be chewing through your vacuum cord and about to cause a fire and burn down your house. Why else would the creators of hamster cages lock the hamsters inside the cage? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense for there to be a different reason. <laughs> in fact, I've seen ham hamsters turn a single seed over in their creepy little hands over and over again. I'm thinking that they're thinking something a lot more deep than maybe what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hamsters can push buttons. <laughs> they can do all kinds of little tricks. And we sit idly by and think that they're cute. But really, really it's part of a plan. <laughs> that these hamsters are creating to wait. pioneer their plot to do the, uh, to kill everybody in this room. <laughs> you could all die because of a hamster that you own. If there is one thing that I am sure of in this confusing world, Mr. McBurney and fellow classmates, it is that people or relationships between hamsters and people, I think, will never turn out well. So, basically, in conclusion, I do not believe that anyone should ever own a hamster or keep a hamster in their house. If it were up to me, I would round every hamster up and have it shot. <laughs> it is amazing that you all actually listened to what I just said. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down now. <laughs> I want a copy of that tape. Yeah, me too. <laughs>